Hello, so it's been just a couple of days since I broke my just over a week long fast and I think you could tell by my last video that I had a overall pretty great experience. And actually, the next morning, I felt even better. I mean, I had so much energy and I felt like I could just keep going. And it had just become that, that much easier, but I decided to stick to the plan and break the fast. So to break it, I wanted to make something that my martial art teacher um, makes and some of the other students started making it as well. And it's this fermented ginger drink. And basically you take ginger, only two ingredients, ginger and honey, raw honey, and then you let it sit for a week um, in the fridge. And then this liquid starts to form. So actually on my first day of the fast, a student was having that drink that he made himself and he offered it to me. And I appreciated it, but I had to turn it down because I just started the fast. But it gave me the idea to prepare some so it would be ready by the time I would break the fast. So anyway, um, that morning where, the morning where I, I stopped, I started eating again, I started with drinking some water, um, and then I did a little apple cider vinegar with the water, and then I um, took that ginger drink, I added some, so I broke up, uh, open a coconut, I, I used the water from it, I, and then I started having that, I added a little apple cider vinegar to that as well, um, and then I just, you know, drank it, and it was, it was really good, and, um, and then I cleaned out the flesh of the coconut, I grabbed some dates and figs and I put it in the container because I had to, had to leave um, because I had a, a job this morning. And I also brought a banana. So uh, once I got to the, to the, to the set, um, after you know, doing a couple things, I had a chance to eat. So I started eating um, a little bit of that thing that I brought and then I ate a banana. And then I don't know how much longer after, but not too long after, I started feeling this like crazy surge of energy through my body like I've never felt before and it was crazy and I just I don't know I felt so energetic and this was despite the fact that the night before I only slept maybe five uh, sorry not even five four hours um, because I got up pretty early um, and again I was like the most energetic person on the set and I, again I had just gone through not eating for just over a week so after a few hours, we had a lunch break, and oh man, they had this um, these amazing uh, vegan salads, and I don't know how. Let me see. So you know, take a look at this. They're really, there's three things that that were good for me to eat. There's a little big reflection there, um, but yeah, I mean, obviously there's a lot of greens in there. There was um, great source of protein too, like with with uh, beans, with seeds, quinoa. Um, Anyway, so, so much more. But uh, I started off with one plate, and then I grabbed another, and, uh, and it was, yeah, it was so good. But the thing is, I had planned to take it slowly on the first day, and, uh, but I wasn't even, I didn't think I was gonna eat that much, but I just felt like I was ready to eat, so, so I did, I had that second plate. Um, Uh-oh, somebody's here. So I'm back. Um, anyway, so the rest of that day went really well. I had another small meal when I got home and then I had a small dinner afterwards. And the day after I pretty much ate uh, much like I normally do. So keep in mind, I, I do eat really clean. I avoid processed foods. I don't have meat, dairy, eggs. So I eat a lot of vegetables, fruits, nuts, seeds, beans, grains, and so on. Which is, is might, might be part of the reason why I didn't really have trouble reintroducing food. So. Um, I think this would differ with everyone. So if you were going to attempt to fast, especially this long, I would make sure to research refeeding and make sure that um, you take your time with it. Because for me, I was able to get back to eating normally fairly quickly, although I still took baby steps to start. But for others, it may take longer. And uh, anyway, I wanted to mention uh, a few days into fasting since you, since you tend to think a lot about eating when you're hungry. Um, I went and bought a food processor and there were so many times I've looked up recipes um, and turns out you needed one of those to make whatever you're trying to make. And I looked up a lot of things when I was fasting. Uh, sometimes I was going to ba bed late because of it. And um, it, I think, I feel like it made me appreciate food more and maybe want to try even more to make even more delicious things. So. Um, Yesterday, when I was in my kitchen, out of nowhere, I just decided to make hot sauce after I looked at this empty bottle of hot sauce that I pre previously had. 
Oh, okay, so someone asked me if uh, things tasted uh, better after fasting. Well, something funny, well, funny to me happened um, when I had a smoothie yesterday for the first time in a long time, obviously. Um, and it's something that I've made before and uh, I pretty much made it this, I made that version the same way I've done it in the past. And I was drinking it and I was asking myself, why does this taste so good? And um, more of in the way that, you know, what did I do to make this taste better? Did I make something different? But, but no, it was just the way I normally made it. So maybe fasting had something to do with that. So anyway, overall, overall, I'm glad I did it. And um, like I said, I felt better as I went on and I had some great experiences. I did something I've never done before. And if you would ask me to do this a few months before I started learning more about long-term fasting, I don't think it would have been something I've been too keen on doing. So I'm really grateful that I dis discovered this. Again, if this is something you want to try, I urge you to do your research and then research some more. Um, you'll learn so many things and also um, I'd recommend starting smaller. So fasting during maybe a time period of the day by either restricting food during a certain time period or only allowing yourself food during a certain time period. And once you kind of get maybe used to that, you can move on to maybe skipping a day, like a full day of eating, just skip a day of eating. Um, and then maybe do that once a week for a few weeks and then think about extending that to something a little longer. So do what feels right to you. And, but also know that things can feel difficult, awkward, and almost unnatural when you, you're not used to it. But eventually you go from crawling to walking, you go from making noises to forming words, you go from lifting five pounds to lifting 50 pounds. So um, anyway, regardless, I wish you the best and I thank you for watching. I'll put a link in the playlist to the whole thing um, in the video description. Take care.